First at noon, these new images show the moments leading up to Trooper Wooten's journey home. They were taken in Atlanta, where he's been receiving treatment. He was paralyzed in a motorcycle crash just more than two years ago while chasing a suspect in Charlotte. Thanks for joining us here at noon. I'm Lindsay Klein. Fox 46 is the only local Charlotte station in Atlanta. We got up with Trooper Wooten before his departure, and our team was there when he hit the road. And that's where we find Fox 46's Robin Kennedy. And Robin, you've been following the Trooper's escort up Interstate 85 from Atlanta. So where is Trooper Wooten right now? Lindsay, the question everybody wants to know, the man of the hour. I just checked in with Trooper Wooten and his caravan, and they are close to South Carolina. In fact, they say they're about 10 minutes from the state line, and we are still here in Georgia, just north of Atlanta. We stopped off to give you this update, and we're about 40 miles from the South Carolina line. Now, this is video is sent in to us of Trooper Wooten's vehicle as he is getting in there. You can see see him getting in the car this morning as he leaves his home in Atlanta to travel back to Cremerton. His neighbors in Georgia said goodbye to Wooten and his wife. We were the only Charlotte team there as the caravan of motorcycle troopers led the way out of Atlanta around 940 this morning. Around 1030, we got this video of those motorcycle troopers getting back on to I-85 after a quick break. Wooten has been in Atlanta receiving treatment since he was paralyzed from the neck down in a motorcycle crash while chasing a suspect in Charlotte in July 2019. Here's what Wooten and his wife told me right before he left Atlanta about his journey home. Like Christmas 10, 10 times over, uh, we're really excited. Um, we feel like little kids waiting for Christmas Day yeah. to get here. <laughs> yes, it really doesn't seem real either. Uh, um, but we're so excited about it. Now, Wooten told me he is grateful even through all of the challenges and his message this Thanksgiving is just for everyone to be thankful for what they have and don't put off plans. He says, go ahead and get things done because you just never know what might happen. I'm live in Georgia. Robin Kennedy, Fox 46. Great advice from Trooper Wooten and an exciting day for his family. Robin will be checking back in and Trooper Wooten will arrive home in Cramerton later on this afternoon. Fox 46's Annie Satowski is live in Cramerton now where a lot of people are expected to line the sides of the roads to welcome Trooper Wooten back home. Annie, are they already out there? Yeah, Lindsay, there's actually some signs already lining Main Street and all along downtown Cramerton here. But this is where we're at right now. This is Floyd and Blackie's right downtown. This is kind of uh, central dispatch, if you will, for uh, all of these homecoming activities. So we have uh, Kate Lackey with us. She is the organizer of all these efforts. So uh, what can people expect today uh, when they come down to welcome Trooper Wooten home? Well, we're expecting a huge crowd. We have lots of American flags. We have blue line flags. We want everybody to feel free to grab one and just wave the Wootens home. They have been waiting so long for this and we just want them to feel the love and the excitement that we are experiencing right now, just waiting on them. And there's a lot of people just walking around downtown. They are so excited. They're grabbing these flags. You also have some blue lights that people can put in their home. And you mentioned that you've had one outside your house since the day that accident happened. Yeah, I have, and I keep it on all the time. We passed them out all along 8th Avenue on Sunday and asked everyone to turn those lights on. We do have a few extra if anybody would like a blue light bulb just to show support, not just for Chris, but for all of our law enforcement. You know, they didn't get to stop for COVID and they put their life on the line every day for us. And we need to show them some appreciation. Absolutely. And you've been walking back and forth between the coffee shop here and their home just up the street. And they've actually done a lot of renovations to make this homecoming extra special. What have they done? They had to completely remodel the home. They had to make doorways wide enough for Chris to get through. They had to actually build a brand new bathroom that um, with a shower that's accessible for him, a new bedroom, a garage that has a lift that can get him into his house. So there's been a lot of work done. They had to reconfigure the kitchen just so that he can, can have enough room to move around in there. And the house looks absolutely amazing. 
It is so beautiful. It'll be a great homecoming for sure. Just making that transition so much easier. And we've been talking about Trooper Wooten and his family a lot this morning and in the weeks leading up to this. What can you tell us about him and their family? You've known them for a really long time. I have an Trooper Wooten, his wife Sharon, and his daughters, they're all just so humble and just the best people you'd ever meet. Even before the accident, they were amazing people. This accident has really just brought out even the best of the best. I mean, now there's such a joy to be around. They're so thankful for each and every day. And to see the love and support that they have for each other is amazing. Sharon is his caregiver, and she wouldn't have it any other way. Perfect. Well, we appreciate everything you're doing for that family today. And speaking of all that support that's going to be out here today, we want to give you a quick look at this map for if you're planning on coming out to uh, Cramerton today, uh, you can help welcome him home. This parade route, uh, not parade, excuse me, it is typically what Cramerton uses for their parade, but this will go through the downtown area this afternoon. Uh, we were told originally between 3.30 and 4.30, but now they do expect that, uh, that line to come through around four o'clock but if you are heading out here please keep in mind that the roads will be blocked off at 3 30 so if you want to come out you need to get to the downtown area quickly and park so the best places to watch if you want to line the route will be starting at market street and highway 29 you'll go down market street to 8th avenue and then along 8th and Ave avenue through the city and finally welcoming him home so again we have robin kennedy out there she is taking that entire route from atlanta home here and uh, we're just really excited to welcome Trooper Wooten home. We will have all of that coverage for you on later editions of Fox 46. But for now, in downtown Cramerton, Annie Satowski, Fox 46.